What's going on guys? Get it up though, well, you already know. We're back at it again, folks. So listen, your first developer job should be Alright folks, we're back at it. So listen. If you're new to development or if you just kind of let's say you let's say you just kind of got started here and you're looking to figure out where to go with this whole thing like what 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 lane to go down i hear full stack i hear back end i hear front end I, you know i hear all these different sections in web development but then there are so many different positions under there and it's like what the madness now here's the thing the approach to how you would handle that varies so your first job should be learning the fundamentals you know the basics html css javascript once you learn these things then it can grow into something bigger now with that being said in conjunction with learning these things your first job should be a freelancer you should have guessed it right before i've said it freelancer the reason i'm saying that is because being a freelancer you learn you, you're learning how to use these basic fundamentals and actually build something because the things you want to learn, and I can attest to this, some of the things you will not learn in a boot camp or really anywhere else for that matter other than some good old hard research is some other things such as uh, what is a domain, uh, HTTPS, uh, some, like the important stuff, uh, SEO, uh, web hosting, how to get all this stuff, to, how to get what you even build online. All that's a process and it's not it's not it's not in plain sight you get so caught up again the with the with the front-end developer back-end developer uh, full stack um, frameworks you know too much too soon you already know guys shameless plug alert so if you haven't by now you should have rung that bell give me a like and thumbs up there and uh, share this guys share this with anyone that you may know of uh, who's interested in web development and just need a little guidance you know that's what this channel is about is helping put things in perspective making it realistic not this pipe dream just getting out of this shiny object syndrome thing you, you have to learn the basics first and, and here I, I like to help the basics I like to help with the basics and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a little biased on the uh, if we're talking about front end or back end or full stack I'm 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 a front end guy so if you're in that kind of thing and uh, this has already interested you, feel free to go ahead and like, share, subscribe. And I want to get you back to the video. Learn the basic fundamentals as your first job in conjunction with finding clients to start building things, to have some real stuff to put on your resume. Not cookie cutter stuff, nothing that you follow on a tutorial, uh, nothing you just like spun out of thin air. There is honestly zero excuse not to have any portfolio work as a freelancer uh, or a developer in general. So when you're coming out the gate, you're looking for clients while you're learning. Your first set of clients are, you should have guessed it, your family. Find anyone in your family who just wants to do something. If uh, there got to be some family or some friend of, or some mutual friend, you mean you name it, somebody has an idea or a business they're looking to get off the ground, or probably has something started but not yet virtually seen, so they're not out there digitally. So you, they need a website. Help them with that. Take advantage of the fundamentals, the things you're learning along the way, so that you can immediately put it into action by building things. That's the best way to learn. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I got lost in tutorial purgatory and just getting lost in these videos and just stream, streaming and you know, oh my gosh, I, 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 gotta, I, gotta, I gotta do this with him here. Oh wait, whoa, whoa, pause, pause, wait, 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 time out. I, I don't know what just happened. Rewind, play again, rewind, like, and it's just so much chaos and it's not necessary. Cool, watch the videos because uh, even if you were part of a boot camp, same thing, you're gonna, you're gonna have some videos on there as, 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 as guidance. You're gonna, gonna have some valuable links to documentations you're gonna have all the things that you need as a developer and you have the good old trusty google where you can go out there and figure out some things uh, and also things to stack overflow and reddit and a list of other platforms forums that will allow you to figure out how to troubleshoot right so we have all of that 
But we also have to be mindful that we've got to start piecing our own stuff together. That's the best way to learn. We established that we need to not get caught up with the process of am I officially interested in front end or back end or full stack or react or any framework for that matter and more so focus on I need to know these basic fundamentals before I can do anything else. And then while learning these, I need to immediately put it into action so it'll stick in whole weight, right? And bear fruit, right? So that is key to find you some clients. Freelancer is going to be your first job. It's going to help you build a portfolio. It's going to help you land at the gig you're looking for. I mark my words, it's, it's more valuable than you think. Not a fancy resume, heck, not even a coding test starting off. Like this, that's not necessary in all in all positions, guys. There's so many positions out there where if you're just dreading mathematics and these algorithms and all this mess, you don't have to fool with that right now. Cross that bridge at another time, depending on what you're looking for. But out of the gate, you should be learning to master these fundamentals, uh, mastering the basics and building something. So now we get to the phase of we build a few things and now we got, we beefed up our portfolio here a little bit, you know, maybe about two to three projects. And um, now, now we got a leg to stand on, all right? So this is then when you look to explore more advanced topics. So this is where you'll start cutting out of CSS and cutting into frameworks like Bootstrap. Uh, I would say Tailwind, I mean, sure. I mean, Tailwind would be, you know, this bootstrap is going to be that first thing. I'm going to tell you that right now. It really is. Uh, Tailwind's trendy. Bootstrap is like the foundational framework, I would say. Uh, again, take what I say with a grain of salt, but I, I feel it's the foundational framework that everyone kind of jumps on first. And then, you know, once you learn these different fundamentals of how to use classes and the different levels of it when it comes to a framework, then it doesn't matter what framework you go to next. Okay. I would also say then you can start learning some advanced topics in vanilla JavaScript. You want to you go to these through these topics first before you even consider a framework. So then once you get some of those different fundamentals uh, like uh, classes and, and prototypes and learning how to make uh, HTTP requests and all these kind of basic fundamentals that some people like to think that React or Angular or any of these frameworks have provided, but it, it didn't. It's just vanilla JavaScript. So you, you don't want to miss that or, or, or what you'll see primarily in React.map and .filter. These are atmosphere 6, I believe. Fundamentals like these are like those methods were already here. So just know that there's levels to this thing. You know, that, that's the approach you should have and you should understand that that's your first job. All right, folks, I've talked entirely too much, but it's been too long and I, you, you can feel the energy here. My back has been restored here and I'm starting to feel really good. And I just wanted to drop a video, guys. So you heard it from me, get a dev double O. Uh, I would say week after week, guys. I don't know. I already told you, just stay locked, stay tuned. I can tell you right now, though, it's not going to be far and out in between. You will start seeing me more often. All right, folks, till next time, we out of here.